Good evening, South Florida. Thanks for joining us. I'm Manny Simone, bringing you the headlines you need to know from our partner, South Florida Gay News. We begin this week with an anti-gay group and their attempted lawsuit that was thrown out of court. Liberty Council, an evangelical anti-LGBT group, threatened to sue charity ranking website GuideStar because it classified the group as a hate organization on their website. Federal Judge Raymond A. Jackson granted GuideStar's request to dismiss the case and the claim that the classification was not defamatory and instead a commercial statement. Liberty Council said in a statement they will consider appealing the federal court's decision. From around the neighborhood, Closing in on the mayorship, Fort Lauderdale Commissioner Dean Trantalis roused members of the LGBT community at the SFGN anniversary party Thursday night. It's time we seek the pinnacle of success in this community, said Trantalis from the stage at Hunter's Nightclub in Wilton Manors. And no better place does it show itself than to be at the top of government in Fort Lauderdale. Trantalis won the first round of the mayoral election, defeating rivals Bruce Roberts and Charlotte Rodstrom with 46% of the vote. In national news, Washington State Senate passed a measure banning gay conversion therapy, bringing the state closer to completely passing the bill. NCLR Youth Policy Council Carolyn Reyes said, Today, the state of Washington is one step closer to passing a bill to protect youth from dangerous conversion therapy. Therapists who engage in this discredited treatment put young people at the risk of serious harm. Washington families and children deserve better. Democrats won the majority in the Senate on November 7, 2017, allowing them to have the votes needed to pass the bill. Please stick around while we present a promotional message. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for staying with us. And now, from around the globe. Police in a conservative province of Indonesia forcibly shaved the hair of a group of transgender women and made them wear men's clothing in a crackdown on the LGBT community that has horrified human rights activists. The police chief said his men had shaved the women's hair off and given them men's clothes to wear as part of their coaching to become men. In January, Indonesian politicians began discussions on revising the country's criminal code to make sex between unmarried couples illegal, which would also make homosexual relations unlawful. In nonprofit news, rapper Flo Rida will be performing as part of the 13th annual Florida AIDS Walk. The hit-making rapper will be part of the March 18th event, which will also feature a 5K walk. We are incredibly excited to have Flo Rida joining us as the headline performer for the 2018 Florida AIDS Walk and Music Festival, Southern Bureau Chief for AIDS Healthcare Foundation Michael Kahane said in a release. He has previously been involved with this event and was an amazing spokesperson in helping to raise funds for our nine beneficiaries, as well as raise awareness of the devastating impact of HIV AIDS on the South Florida community. From the world of entertainment, Chrissy Chambers, one half of the YouTube singing channel Priya and Chrissy, won a case against her ex-boyfriend after he submitted explicit videos of her to the internet. The YouTuber sued for breach of confidence, misuse of private information, and harassment at the High Court in London. Chrissy Chambers said, I cannot be more elated to announce today that I won my revenge porn case and also asked the most incredible girl to marry me. That's all for this week's headlines. Please visit sfgn.com to view these complete stories and more. We love having you all join us here each week. I'm Manny Simone for Wilton Live, and I can't wait to see you right here next Wednesday. And please stand by for a promotional message.
She just upstaged me. Happy Pride!